Gentlemen, today we have Cat Evolved up against Faker in Korean solo queue. Explosive matchup. Faker playing the Ari. Uh, one of the most abusable picks on the current patch. I mean, it's been so abusable for several patches now. Most mid laners ban it. Um, but we got Cat Evolved up against the Ari matchup with Faker on it. And I'm interested to see how it gets played out. Whenever I versed Faker, it kind of just felt like I was punching my hand against a brick wall. It felt like no matter what I really did, no matter how many ganks I got, no matter how many advantageous positions my team set me up with, he was such he, he was so sturdy and always found a way and managed to get back into the game with the CS leader, XP lead. As you can see, he actually just out-traded himself with a W there. Cut evolved with the Conqueror setup. Probably going to be going the Divine Sunderer rush. Going to wait for the level 3. Level 4 all in, maybe. Now, I think Faker went exhaust into this matchup, which is interesting. Wave's going to shove in. Katarina's trash. Level 1, we know this. Katarina's top 100 in Korea right now. Arguably the best Katarina on the server in the world, then. It's crazy. As we might actually get the all in here, exhaust comes out. As we spam laugh to disrespect. Come on, man. You're versing the goat here. Faker gets ganked on top of it. We pop the ignite. We pop the Q. First blood on a Faker. Great setup here for the Graves. And I'm wondering... I mean, we baited out the exhaust. We came back. Faker pushed up. Made the mistake. Got ganked. And now he's going to miss out on this whole wave. Catavolt, hopefully. By the way, this is from his stream. I'm going to link his stream in the description down below. He grinds Korean solo queue. Make sure to check him out. Divine Sunder Rush as per usual. And yeah, I've said this before. Oh, it's Nemesis in the top lane. I've said this before, dude. Like, I've been reviewing a lot of the Katarinas in Korea, in China, just thinking they were so much better than the NA Katarina, like Cat Evolved. I just assumed, but this guy's coming up hard stomping, high LP than the Katarina mains that are here. It's crazy, actually. Can't give him enough credit because he definitely does grind the game and really study it to try and better himself, I guess, and learn some of these matchups. But me and TF Blade talked about it a lot. He plays a very reactionary early game Katarina, which allows him for that consistency. He will take the... Oh, dodges out on the charm. He will take the 1v1 if it's there, but most of the time, he waits for the opponent to make the misstep, the mistake, plays off his jungler setups, Gets those early kills and sto completely snowballs the game mid-game and absolutely takes over. But to get there, he has that really slow, consistent style in the early game. Where if there's no opportunities, where it's free, he's not going to risk it all. Because if you die once or twice on Katarina, your opponent gets ahead, you're screwed. It's done. There was that Katarina man. I, I, I did a view on it a while back. He ran that TP. Just chilled until he got a TP flank and then just snowballed the game. And I'm pretty sure Faker here might actually have a CS lead. Even after losing that wave. We, we, we're dropping a lot of CS. Wow. <laughs> a little bit nervous. It's okay. You can get... you can. Faker's 31 CS to 18. We are missing too many CS. He's just giving. He's giving a lot actually. Baker's running low on mana here, so you might have a small window. So the problem is, if you E on your dagger, you assume Faker has the mechanics to get the E, the charm, onto your head. Renata, pull back, landed, Q. We get the assist, not the kill. Good setup by Renata, good dodge onto the Ari charm. Which should hard shove this in the reset. And Tyler One arriving in a couple days to Korea here. Um, <laughs> I mean, gonna be super interesting to see how that climb goes. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Sure. I, I mean, I'm not gonna say he's gonna hit Challenger. That would be a bit ridiculous. Because even I can't hit Challenger at the moment. And 
I mean, that's all I'm going to say about that. If he outclimbs me playing Phil in Korea, I don't know what I'll do. I might actually shave my head. Should I shave my head? Maybe we'll put... Let's just... Okay, let's just leave it on. At a future date, we'll decide. We get that Sheen spike. <coughs> a little bit sick at the moment. Apologies. Might be able to find the Talon. Ignite. E reset. We get it. Beautiful. First kill of the game. That's a bit of a freebie. As lane state's pretty good for Cat here. I don't know how the hell you're going to get an all-in on the Ari, but... Ari has Exhaust, Ari has Charm, Ari has Ars. I can't imagine. I mean, this seems like such a bad matchup for Katarina. Playing so defensively. Slight level advantage. Baker, about a 10 CS lead here. This cat evolved actually moves in for the all-in. Just chunks him to half. And this is actually going to be a really good setup. If Faker waste charm, which he shouldn't. If Faker waste charm, cat evolved all-in will come instantly. Mid lane fun roll. Ha. You can tell he's a little bit tilted. Because he can't you can't you can't do anything. There's no point forcing. Support jungle just completely influenced the roll. There's no way they've caught Faker. He just R's out. Talent picks up the Herald. <clears throat> Six kills to two. Definitely in Cat's favor here. But there's always an... You can never write Faker out for a comeback. He doesn't really like to FF. <clears throat> He'll keep looking for picks throughout the game. And I guess we just wait for a Divine Sunder Spike and then look to team fight. Because the 1v1 just doesn't seem to be happening, does it? And I thought Cat, once he got Challenger, he'd drop out, but he's actually pushing in 8, 5, 850 LP going towards a thousand. It's crazy, man. Because when I, when I thought of Katarina, I thought, <clears throat> I said Katarina's good until Masters and then players know how to play. So then you can't, this is what I said, like when, to Cat evolve when he got here, like Katarina's really good once you get from low elo up to masters, it's really good. Then it, I thought it just fell off because teams should know how to play around a Katarina then. They should know how to punish the lane. They should know how to team fight appropriately around the daggers. But I guess if you're that, if you're so mechanical, does it not matter? Oh, Graves, that's what I'm talking about. I actually had this Graves in my game the other day. Hard carried me, thank you, sir. And I'm at... I'm at just the right elo where I could get Faker, by the way. I'm Grandmaster. He's Grandmaster. Maybe just challenges on the brim. I'm praying. Sorry, Faker. I need you a 20-game loss streak right now. Um, and then I'll be able to play in his games every night. Get the one solo kill after getting solo killed 20 times. Clip the one solo kill. Post it to Twitter and then say I'm better than Faker. I mean, hey. It's not about what you know, it's about what you can prove. And I can prove with that one solo kill after I delete all of the other footage that I am the better player. ADCS at 10. Not breaking any CS marks. We have XP lead though. XP lead, slight gold lead. No charm, no charm, no charm, no charm. Baiting. It kind of feels like there's someone here, right? Nurkan was hovering. <clears throat> of course.
needs this divine Sundra. Could E again there. Pops the R and Ignite. Rakan comes in. Jukes out Rakan. W solo kill onto Faker. Essentially 1v2. Faker's 0-4. Now, I mean, Faker's had it pretty bloody brutal this game. I won't lie. He's been getting pummeled by the Graves, but Katavolv saw the opportunity and he f and went for it. Beautiful all in. Now has the Divine Sundra. And Fake is screwed. I don't see how Faker could come possibly come back into this game and become relevant. Still 96, yes. You can't. From what I can tell when I play a lot of these mid laners, you can't really. If you get into this beta mindset of giving a lot of CS and not contesting waves, dude, they just run all over you. It's crazy. You can't allow them to feel your scaredness because once they feel it, they press you so hard. I was versing this Zed the other day called On Zed. I was playing Tw Twisted Fate. He was playing Zed. I got a little bit scared in lane and I started stepping back and he could feel it instantly, man. As we might get another all in. Charm, wide, Q. We have no E reset though. He wants to wait for it, but fake up moving up very aggressively. E, R. Might get the 1v2, Q. Needs the, ooh, gets the E. E, into the fake up, 1v2. Could E again. And he will eventually go down here to the talent. Next D. A little bit aggressive there. Anyways, against this said guy, dude, I I showed a little bit of passiveness, and he just instantly all in me, and he just it was in, he was living in my mind rent free. I'm like, okay, he he threw his Q this way last time. He probably threw it different way last time. Boom, throws the exact same way. Insta gives me dead. Oh, I think it ended up like I think I was a hundred CS now at twenty. Like I was, it was such an embarrassing performance by me, and it was just from one moment in the landing phase where I got a little bit scared and backed up off of the wave a bit and said, hey man, you're the better player, eat the farm, it's all good. And as soon as that happened, I feel like he just turned a switch in his head and just, fuck me, man. Anyways, a little... Sorry, I keep talking about myself. Divine Sundra, we have Dark Seal. We are still down in CS. But for sure, we're up in gold. This Graves putting on performance of a lifetime. Faker Rome, might be able to get a bounty here. Ari Death Sound, cut of all, picks up the double. Five and one, baby. I mean, this game is as good as one from here. Play the team fights, play the objectives. Nemesis manhandles the Gwen. Suspiciously. What's the boot buy here? What's the boot buy? Yeah. I was thinking, there's no way you, if you go Mercs, if you go Mercs here, plus you have the tenacity in your resolve tree, when you have no sums, like, oh no, that's conditioning, my bad. I thought he was running the tenacity when you have no summoner spells. I can't remember what it's called, but I feel like that rune is very underrated, but he doesn't have that. He has the tenacity from his... Um, Legend Tenacity. So that combined with the Mercs and Ari Charm and Rakan CC shouldn't be meaning if they get it that you're inst that you're dead. It feels like some abilities are like that. Like if Ari lands a Charm in a team fight, you die. But if you're playing Katarina and you have enough CC Tenacity against the CC, it's like it feels like you just ignore it. <clears throat> Probably needs to put his pink out, no? Has he already got one?
So Ari drops to the side lane. See if we can clean this up. Faker moving in. Faker. Looking for the E reset. Move in. R popped. Killed. Now onto the Talon. No E yet. But I think Talon is screwed here. E. Quit stealing all the kills. Three dragons. Three dragons? Three dragons at 17 minutes. This guy's doing them on spawn. I love a jungler who stacks objectives like that. Greedy jungle mains, they always, they, I swear to God, they never like doing dragons because it doesn't give them as much XP as like spamming camps or some shit. As Gwen, I think Gwen wins this. Oh, my ultimate. We have the E. And the ignite fade away. Catch you later, buddy. As Nemesis gets the solo, you know, gets the 1v2, 2v1 against Faker. Cannibal, no mic, no cam for this game. Obviously hyper-focused. Nice music, man. You're a gangster, perhaps. Keeps going to this J call. Some Tupac on, man. The hell. Second item we know is going to be the Nashes. Um, and then we've seen him do things like the Lich Bane. He's actually a Lich Bane en enthusiast. I've seen I see him build Lich Bane more than a lot of mid laners, like in different situations. I saw him build it on Ari the other day. Lich Bane on Ari to me sounds troll, but. Hey, man. You do you. Also, big news. MSI is in Korea. All the MSI boot cameras are coming to Korea. Very soon. Mid Beast first Caps. Oh, is, is he going to get the rematch? Is Caps going to beat him for the sixth time in a row? Who knows? We'll find out soon enough. Most of my Korean games, I mean, all of them pretty much are on my second channel, by the way. So if you wanted to check out some of my gameplay, Mid Beast 2, look no further. Advertisement over for my second channel. Fake up. Graves is too big. Graves is broken at the moment. They do this Umbral Glaive rush build uh, and they just take over the game because they know they're not on vision. Perma invade your jungle. 12 CS per minute. Brilliant. Graves, Talon, Kiana, Rexite, Diana. Graves is level 15. Huh? Faker 08. Faker 08. Don't tell anybody. Faker 08. Is he going to get 010 power spike? Graves 210 CS at 20 minutes in the jungle roll. It's crazy. You, you play with some of these players and they're just... Like, I don't know if this guy's a pro, but some of the, some of the players, man, like... They change your mind on how like a perfect game or a perfect player can go. As we look for the 2v1 against the Gwyneth. Him and Nemesis, they clean it up. Ezreal comes through, hits both. Baker kind of rage splitting in the side lane, but I wouldn't define it as a rage split. Once you get behind 0-8 like this, you need to catch up the XP in the farm and you're not going to do it by team fighting and picking, or getting picks. It's going to be through CS and being alone. A little bit of alone time. Baker almost gets two tapped by Graves. It's Collector, Jesus Christ, that's brilliant. And look, whilst whilst I think he played decent this game, his all ins that all, that one v one and the two v one kind of plays. Sure, they were nice. 
I mean, I think his team's doing a lot of heavy lifting this game. Like him versus Aurelia King or Z99, like he played well. But this game, I feel it's more... He got a pretty bloody good team. As we hit the Nashes, we hit the Amp Tome. Oh, it's kind of off here. Enjoying the fucking show, bucko. And it just feels like with this Nash, it's one more team fight and he's won the game. Objective bounties. Love the sound for them. What is wrong with him? Focus! Focus! Versus Faker spends half the game trying to find the perfect song. Nemesis solo kills the Ezreal. And I'm pretty sure Cat Evolves versus all the big names now. You got Faker. You have Z99. You have Aurelia King. The only person I'd really want to see in verse, of course, is Beifang, the Kiana main, as we get picked off in the side lane. But Beifang is playing in China. Uh, he doesn't really play in Korea at the moment. He did that Korean challenger run one time, like, but he rarely plays in Korea. His accounts usually get nuked out, banned, targeted. Seems like he does enjoy playing on the Chinese server, so respect. Baker does he do his 10th death. He dies. Is that 10? No, 0 9. <coughs> One. <coughs> oh, sorry, dying. One more death. Okay, this time, side lane, we have all dragons. Baker 09. There's no way we can fuck this up, right? Oh, it's kind of off here. Enjoying the fucking show, Bucko. Go for the 1v1. Doesn't even opt for the 1v1. He wants to close it. A Ram 5 5 down mid. I've got baited in so many of these Korean games where the. Like, you've got two inhibs up. Sorry, you've got two inhibs down. You could just run top lane tower play at slow free win. Team runs down 5 5. Loses 1 5 5. Like, they say 5 5. Like, it's a 5 v 5. Down mid. And then you just lose the game. When you could have had a free win playing the map, but. It doesn't happen that often in Korea. <clears throat> Faker, 10th death. There we go. I knew I knew you had it in you. Graves collects the Rakan. <clears throat> Pop the ult. Wait a minute. If Graves dies here, I'm concerned. Cat flashes in the way up. Not sure what the hell's going on. He literally does no damage. <clears throat> and this is what happens when you don't snowball on cat. It's it's hard, bro. Could be worse, could be 0 10 on Ari, but still. Poor cat evolved. Grinding the Korean server, high elo games, like and then he's gonna go back to NA and just suffer. Permanently craving these high tempo fast games. Gotta hand it to Gwen, she's actually still relevant as hell. Graves 13 0. All right, let's wrap it up, boys. One A Ram, get it over and done with, please. First, we must collect the wave. Twitch is dead. Talon is dead. To four v three for five seconds. Just wait, the minions, lads. Just wait, the minions. Goes in onto Faker, jukes everything out.
Pentakill to end. Can we do it? We get charmed and we die. His team runs with their tails between their legs. Faker still kill us. Come on. Oh my. Oh my, the charm. Faker's first kill is a thousand gold. Is this the start of something? Wow, I am literally a potato character. Oh, potato, like. <laughs> I don't think that's how I spell potato, but. Right. Mm -mm. Get off of Baron. It's not happening, boys. I like how he's typing. Triple inhibs dropped, and then you get Baron. You, you buff all the all the supers and stand in their base, and this the minions will win the game for you guys. Please understand that's a win con, and it's un you cannot lose with that win con. You don't need to fight. Let the minions win the game for you. There's no amount of wave clear, Anivia. It runs out of mana, like it's just not possible. They're gonna get Baron, they're gonna get Elder and end the game. I mean, come on guys, that's a bit cringe. Don't get the ult, make it at least a little bit fair. Oh, Talon looks for the pick. Collected, GG. Free Elder. Unless Ezreal can steal it. Gwen goes in, they don't get the steal. Cat Evolved hits the R. Has to E out. Gwen has some beautiful kit. Really love that kit. Faker goes down. Entire team is wiped. And they'll run into the enemy base and end the game. That's going to be the end of the VOD today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I mean, look. It's a bit of a free win. But I, I definitely wanted to try and cover it. And see how the matchup got played out. Some nice 1v2 uh, scenarios. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.